Today, I'm excited to introduce you to the latest gadget I received from DF Robot, the Uni Hiker. It's not just another development board, it's a full fledged Linux machine packed with a lot of impressive features. There's so much to cover that I'll be breaking them down one by one for you. I'm thrilled to share all of these exciting details with you in this video, so stick around. Without further ado, let's dive right in. The Uni Hiker comes in a nice box with everything you need. A USB Type-C cable for communication and power, wires to connect with other modules, and a silicone case to protect your UniHiker from damages. First, let's take a look at the fundamental configuration of the board. The UniHiker is a single board computer featuring a Rockchip RK3308 at its core. This powerhouse comprises a quad-core ARM Cortex A35 application class processor clocked at up to 1.2 GHz, paired to 512 MB of RAM and 16 GB of flash storage, preloaded with the Debian Linux-based operating system. It offers expandable storage options through a micro SD card slot. In most cases, the onboard storage is sufficient. While it may not boast cutting-edge technology, it serves as a reliable platform for many electronics projects. For those unfamiliar with the technical details, think of it as akin to the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, but with a highly streamlined programming environment and a responsive touchscreen. Talking about the touchscreen, the UniHiker is equipped with a 2.8 touchscreen with a 240 by 320 resolution. This makes it more user-friendly than any other single board computers. With just the power connected, you are instantly ready to interact with the board. No need to fuss with additional wires for display or a scramble to find a keyboard and HDMI cables, which often clutters up your workspace. Using the UniHiker is a breeze, simply connect it to a power supply or your computer via a USB cable, and you are ready to go. It's as easy and swift as that. A 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth 4.0 radio module is implemented, which makes it accessible wirelessly and suitable for remote control or any other IoT applications. In addition to the CPU, there is a Ginga device GD32VF1.3 RISC-V microcontroller cool processor for real-time work. The microcontroller is responsible for controlling onboard components and external I.O. ports, such as buttons, a microphone, a light sensor, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, an LED and a buzzer. When it comes to interfaces, the UniHiker offers versatility. A USB Type-C connector serves for both data transfer and power supply, while USB Type-A port accommodates peripherals. Additionally, it features 3-pin and 4-pin gravity ports dedicated to connecting other gravity modules. Thanks to the code processor, these ports are capable of facilitating seamless communication with a wide array of analog, digital, I2C, UART, and SPI sensors and actuators. To facilitate further hardware expansions, the UniHiker features an edge connector located at the bottom of the main PCB. Borrowing its design from the widely acclaimed BBC micro bit, this connector provides access to the most essential GPIO pins. Moreover, the pin assignments are compatible with the microbit edge connectors. The onboard flash memory comes loaded with a Jupyter notebook configured for the device's onboard hardware, 
programmable directly in browser. Support is also included for development using VS Code, Thony, or any text editor. Python serves as the primary programming language, complemented by an integrated control library called Pingpong, simplifying hardware access. Moreover, Unihiker offers MQTT support and a user-friendly web interface. Unihiker is the perfect development tool for learning, coding, and creating exciting projects with the power provided by the DF robot ecosystem. This plug-and-play platform is designed to kickstart your project fast. Now let's take a look at some basic operations. First, let me demonstrate the basic capabilities of Unihiker. I won't cover every single step in detail during these demonstrations. You can find detailed instructions on how to achieve the same results in the official wiki. The primary goal here is to showcase what Unihiker is capable of. With that in mind, let's begin. First, connect the cable and put the power on. When the USB cable is plugged in, you will see the boot sequence of the Linux kernel. When it is fully booted, you will see this default interface of the Unihiker. Long press the Home button to enter the main menu. The menu provides entries for configurations, settings, and also for starting your program. Connecting your Unihiker to Wi-Fi is necessary for various tasks such as system updates and installing Python packages or other software. Here's how to do it. First, ensure your Unihiker is fully booted. Open your browser and enter the website address 10.1.2.3 to access the local web page menu on the Unihiker. Navigate to the network settings page. Scan and select the SSID for your Wi-Fi router. Input the password for your Wi-Fi network. Once done, your Unihiker will be successfully connected to the Internet. As you can see, when I set up the Wi-Fi, I used the local web interface, which offers basic board settings, such as toggling Jupyter, setting up the Wi-Fi, or uploading files, However, this interface provides limited access to the system. To gain the full access, we can use SSH. The Unihiker has SSH service enabled by default, so you can use SSH tools like PuTTY or Mobile Extern to connect to it from another computer. When connecting to the Unihiker, the SSH account is root and the password is dfrobot. If Unihiker is connected to your PC via USB, its IP address is fixed at 10.1.2.3. Remember the SSH account and the password. It will be necessary when using VS Code or a remote desktop. I will talk about it later. Once logged in via SSH, you have full control over the system. You can use it just like any other Linux system, like updating the system installing software and Python packages, configuring the system, and more. The Unihiker comes with enabled remote desktop service as well, allowing you to display the board's interface in real time on your PC's screen. Ideal for demonstrations or tutorial screenshots. Later, you will find out that I'm using it to do some demonstrations. You have several software options available for connecting. There are Windows Remote Desktop, Mobile Xterm, and VNC Viewer. Please refer to the wiki for details on how to set up and use each software. The Unihiker also comes with Samba service, so you can share files on LAN and create your private cloud drive. With the help of the Windows Network Neighborhood function, you can edit files just like managing Windows files. This is also very simple. Please read the wiki to find out the details. Now, let's check out how can we program on this excellent platform. The Unihiker supports running Python code directly. 
with the SSH and SMB file sharing service enabled by default, you can utilize any text editor to write code and seamlessly transfer it to the board for execution. For user's convenience, there are three recommended software tools you can use for Unihiker programming. The three tools are MindPlus, VS Code, and Jupyter Notebook. Here's how you can use MindPlus. When using MindPlus, you need to do the following. Download and install MindPlus software. Choose graphical blocks or coding mode. Connect to Unihiker via USB cable. Write and run code using graphical blocks or Python coding. When using VS Code, install VS Code and the remote SSH extension. Connect to Unihiker by specifying root as a username and DF robot as a password. Sometimes you need to try a couple of times when connecting to Unihiker. Write and execute code without leaving VS Code. Another way to program is to use Jupyter from a browser. Access the local web page as I mentioned before. Start Jupyter, open the page, create a new Python 3 project, write code and run the code directly in the browser. It is certainly not as powerful as the similar one from Google Cloud Service, behind which there are powerful GPUs in their data center. That is a brief description of the three tools you can use to start programming on Unihiker. However, feel free to choose any tool that suits your preferences. I found out that it is convenient for me to connect to VNC server to show the Unihiker display on my PC screen while using VS Code to program. Now that we have got familiar with the programming process, let's delve deeper into the capabilities of Unihiker. A great starting point is exploring the tutorials available on the Unihiker wiki site. These tutorials cover a wide range of topics and provide valuable insights into maximizing the potential of your Unihiker board. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, you will find plenty of useful resources to kickstart your next project. Next, let me try some programs to utilize the onboard components. From now on, I will mainly use VS Code for the programs, and I will just show what it looks like when the program is done. First, it's a simple program to test the buzzer. Next, it's a program to test the LED. Now, it's a program to test the button presses. Now it's a program to test the onboard gyro sensor. Next, it's a program to test the onboard microphone. Lastly, it's a simple program to test the light sensor. I use my hand to block the light. And when my hand is closer, it gets darker around the sensor. And then the value will change accordingly. Now you have a general idea of how to take advantage of the onboard components. Let's see what else we can do when we connect Unihiker with other external modules. In many projects, we will have some moving parts. So driving a motor or moving a servo is essential and Unihiker surely can handle that. Additionally, connecting Unihiker to DF Robot's voice recognition module makes it super fun to control the servo to turn certain degrees with your voice command. Isn't it that cool? Set a servo to 10 degrees. Okay. Set a servo to 30 degrees. Okay. Set a servo to 45 degrees. Okay. Set a servo to 60 degrees. Set a servo to 90 degrees. Okay. 
With some high-end AI sensors like DF Robot's Husky Lens, UniHiker can easily add some AI functions to it, like object detection, face recognition, etc. Here we can make the Husky Lens to remember certain faces and respond when that face is detected. It's really exciting that we can add AI functionalities to hobby projects, just as easy as that. Well, I guess that's all the demonstrations I have for UniHiker. When you are brainstorming ideas for your next hobby project and find yourself stuck and don't know where to start, you can navigate to the DF Robot community site. There are pages dedicated to UniHiker projects. I'm sure you can get some fresh inspiration from there. If you want to have one for your next project, you can find more detailed information on the product page. I will add a link to the description section. You can buy one from the DF Robot official store or any other EC site you like. Search UniHiker and I'm sure you can find it. In this video, we explored the functions and the possibilities of the UniHiker, a Linux-based machine equipped with a touch panel display. It enhances user experience and stands out for its user-friendly interface compared to other development boards. Its diverse and straightforward development environment makes it accessible even for juniors who can quickly begin using MindPlus for simple and complicated projects. With its rich features and a compact design, the UniHiker opens up endless possibilities for users of all skill levels. I guess that's all for today's review. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to give that thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join my channel. Or leave a comment if you want to. Thank you for watching and see you next time.